Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do the laser effect, or the eye lasers, or the Superman eyes, or the Superman effect, where you fire off lasers. Let's hit spacebar and see what it looks like. It's very, very subtle, but you'll see it. Bang! There we go. This dog looks like a nice dog, but if you don't give him his kisses or his food, he fires a laser ball out of his eye. Well, it's not really a ball, but whatever. It looks like it. Okay, whatever. Let's just start from scratch, and I'm going to show you how to do it very, very quickly. Okay, good. Here we go. We've got some footage. Drag and drop it into the timeline. Move forward to the part where you want the laser to start shooting. So right here when the dog's looking down, that's where I want it to shoot. So I'm going to hit Command K or Control K if you're on a PC. And we're going to cut it right here. So this part is just regular. And this is where the laser starts. And then the laser stops right about here. This is a very, very quick effect. Only a couple of frames. So um, maybe like four frames, six frames at most. I'm going to hit Command or Control K and do another cut here. So the laser is a very subtle effect and it's going to apply just to this little snippet here. So what do we got? We got one, two, three, yeah, we got a few frames in there. So no big deal. So this is the part where it's going to be applied. The next step, we're going to go to our effects panel over here and we're going to grab the lightning effect. Be careful not mixing it up with lighting. They're completely different. Drop lightning onto this small section where we're doing that. So where the effect is going to be applied and you'll see that there's a little bit of a sparkly lightning in there already. All right, no big deal. Let's just get this rolling. Okay, the next step is we're going to actually change the width to, let's go to 100. Let's really sell the effect. So we want this to be really thick lightning. And of course, if you want the lightning to be, I don't know, some other color, maybe you want purple lightning. I don't know. There you go. Let's change it. Pink, tingish, whatever. Doesn't matter. But we've changed the width to 100. Now we're going to go ahead and make a few other changes. Importantly, we're going to reduce the amplitude to zero because this is not a lightning effect. This is a laser effect. If you want it to look like lightning, then don't change these settings. Don't change the amplitude. But if you don't want that and you want lasers, change the amplitude to zero and the branching to zero. That makes it into a straight line, kind of like a Star Wars laser type look. Okay, good. Now, making sure we're on the first frame. So I'm just going to make sure we're on the first frame of this uh, of this little snippet here. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and make some changes to the start and the end point. So I'm going to click out and then we click on the start point. And when I do that, it's going to make me give me an option. So I'm going to move this piece here. Pardon me, that's the wrong one. 50-50. Ah, I'm going to click on this here and you see here that I've moved the start point. And if you look at the effect controls panel, you'll see the start point numbers adjusting. I'm going to move it to right here. So I want the start point to be right above the eye, okay? Because that's where the laser originates. And now I'm going to go ahead, once I've got that correct, I'm going to click on this toggle animation. And that way we're going to now start the animation. So the next thing is I'm going to click on the end point. And we know this is the end point here. And I'm going to move it on top of the start point, pretty much on top of it. And the reason why is because when a laser starts firing, it doesn't, it doesn't, it hasn't moved anywhere. It starts in the eye and then it shoots out. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on the toggle top watch, toggle, toggle stopwatch. Come on, Curtis, use your friggin' words. And we've got the end point and the start point in the same spot. Now we're going to move forward uh, one or two frames. Let's go forward two frames and we're going to change the end point. So you see this, we're, this is if we were shooting it straight down, which we're not. So I'm going to go ahead and click on end point and then I'm going to start moving it. So I'm going to move it. Well, I don't know. We're going to shoot down in this direction, right? How does that look? Something like that. Okay, good. So I'm going to start it shooting there. And now it's got a animation two frames in. I'm going to go two frames forward again. One, two, and we're going to shoot it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold down the shift key and we're going to shoot it something like right there. Okay. And then if I go another frame or two, two more frames, we're going to shoot it out. The, we're just going to shoot it right out of there. And I'm going to try and make sure it's straight, but there's a little bit of a wobble in there, but that's okay. It makes it look a little bit more organic. So now what does this look like? If I go back to the beginning, there's, there's the puppy giving out his kisses. Bam, he fires off his laser. Now that laser fired a little bit too slow for my liking. So I'm going to go back into this little snippet here. I'm going to go back to the end point. And I'm just going to go ahead and start moving some of these points closer. So if you look at this here, I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's go speed this up. We're going to move these to the left a little bit. This way it goes a little faster. I'm going to move this one to the left a little bit and this one to the left. So now let's see what we got. Bam. We got a fire firing laser out of the eye. That's how you create it. If you wanted to see that smoke effect that I had there, what you can do is I'll hit, go to Google Chrome or go to your, your 
web browser, whatever you're using, I use Chrome, pardon me, and go to pexels.com and select one of these smoke ones. I selected this one. I would download that. I would select it. I'd show it in the finder whenever it's finished downloading. I'm going a little faster than I'd like here. And then once it's finished downloading, I put that in. I drag and drop it on top of where I think the smoke would start. So let's say right about there after it hits, it hits and then the smoke starts, right? Well, that doesn't look quite right. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and change this to screen mode first off. So there we go. We've added it in. Now the smoke is coming in a second here. Smoke, boom, the smoke needs to start pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust it. So I'm going to go and turn it around so that it would come from where I think the laser would attack, where the basically where the, the hit point is. Bang. And now there's where we want it basically coming. So we'd want to basically move that right here. And then we've just got some smoke. Boom. The smoke comes in. Not quite perfectly, but you get the point. That's basically how you go ahead and animate the smoke. I would move it to something like that maybe actually. Let's see what we got here. Boom, smoke comes through. Just like that. That's how you animate laser eyes, guys, inside Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching.